Hey there, folks, and welcome back to the I Am CDB Project. I, of course, am your host, CDB. You are not. And today, we're going to do a shave with the Rex Envoy. Again, a beautiful razor, terrific knurling. I've only used it twice, but I really have enjoyed it so far. So we're going to use that. I'm going to use a little old school uh, Tobbs Taylor of Old Bond Street Sandalwood, which is uh, beautiful. And today, we're going to do a more old school, where after the shave, I'll rinse my face and actually put on the aftershave because I took a shower pre-shave here just to sort of do it the way I used to do it. And also, we're going to announce a giveaway, so stay tuned for that. Actually, let's, uh, let's get to the giveaway right now, shall we? We are going to give away, courtesy of the inspector on this part, the Vikings Blade Adjustable Razor, which is a really nice looking adjustable razor. I have uh, barbersided it already, so it will come to you good to go. It will come with its uh, original packaging, which here's a look at it with the packaging. Nice adjustable razor. Set that aside. We will be giving away a timeless uh, stainless steel handle. And as you know, timeless makes very, very good uh, stuff. So this will be uh, an additional safety razor handle. This is a long one, sort of heavy because it's stainless steel, but we'll be giving away this. And also from uh, the inspector, by the way, the, the timeless handle is, is me. Uh, the, the razor and this is the inspector, the uh, Gentelli Lux. Um, I don't know how you say that. I don't particularly like the scent, but I'm giving it away to you and hope, <laughs> hope that you do. So here's how you enter. Uh, to win, let me set that aside so I don't knock them over. Uh, subscribe to the channel first. You may, you must be a subscriber of this channel. Hit the button below somewhere. I think it's towards the left that says subscribe, and just uh, make a comment uh, about perhaps the Christmas season, whatever you want. But mostly, uh, any comment you know can be uh, chosen. I'll put uh, the comments into in a randomizer and draw. And uh, this will close on January the 5th, I think. I will draw either on the 5th or the 6th. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Give it a thumbs up. Make a comment. And uh, we will enter you to win the Vikings Blade Razor, the Aftershave, and the Timeless Handle. So Merry Christmas to everyone, courtesy of myself and the inspector. Uh, I want to thank everyone for... Uh, continuing to watch, by the way, I'm using the West Coast Shaving Brush. Uh, I want to thank everybody who's hung in here over the years and those of you who perhaps are new. Uh, obviously, I haven't done as many giveaways uh, in 2019, quite frankly, because I'm just not as much in a position to do it as I used to. Um... And so that's why I'm, excuse me for the sniffle, not doing as much as uh, I used to. But today is uh, Christmas Eve, and we're certainly in the spirit of giving, and so therefore we shall do so. And if you don't celebrate Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, um, Festivus, you know, whatever it is that you celebrate, I hope you will have a wonderful time with uh, your family, and so on and so forth. By the way, really smooth razor, this uh, Rex Envoy. And I hope I didn't say the, the name wrong. Sometimes I just say the wrong thing when I'm using something, but. So if I introduce this razor wrong in the beginning, my apologies, but it's, it's a nice razor. Sort of mid-level aggression, entry mid perhaps, but nice razor. Uh, again, getting back to the subject matter, just grateful for everyone and grateful for 2019. 2018 was not a good <laughs> year for me. I underwent a lot of change, some good, some bad. Uh, and it was a, you know, setback in, in some ways. And so as a result, I'm not in the same position I was to uh, give things away the way that I did before. I hope you understand. I still have, I'm very grateful for the friends who, who helped 
I still have debts to, to repay. I have not forgotten about those who stepped in and helped. Uh, and I'm still appreciative. And I will certainly repay uh, what is owed. So I want to thank everybody. We're sort of sticking through that, you know, rough period. Of course, 2019 was a much better year. So obviously we're happy about that. First pass, very, very nice. I really like this razor. Um, just smooth, nice. I mean, what can be said other than it? It's an outstanding shaver in my view. But again, let's, let's not get too carried away. Let's use it for a while longer. But, you know, based on the way it feels, it just feels good to me. And so, sometimes I have a tendency to to babble off and to uh, ramble on personal subjects, and I forget to mention the actual <laughs> shaving equipment. But mostly, I just want to thank everybody and let you know that I am grateful and I have not forgotten the blessings and the help and the you know the prayers and every everything that everyone did. I really do appreciate it. And it uh, was really, really helpful. It was a, it was a tough go <laughs> in 2018. So 2019 was much, much better. But I'm still, uh, you know, sort of finding my way back after, you know, undergoing a pretty drastic lifestyle change. So anyway, uh, we're doing well now, and that is the main thing. I'm uh, about ready to, after the shave and a. Uh, upload the video and so on and post it. Head down to the in-laws for Christmas. Uh, a lot of people will be there. That will be uh, fun to see everybody and enjoy family and my mom and dad are coming the, the day after Christmas. Uh, so that'll be nice as well. Looking forward to seeing them. Then I'm working uh, on the 27th, so got to come back and get back to it. But um, make sure you're enjoying Christmas with your loved ones and, and you know, let everybody know you're grateful. Because uh, I certainly am. And again, I have a lot of work to do to uh, repay all those for the help that they gave me and the kindness and consideration and prayers and all the rest. So you're all in my thoughts. Just to please keep that in mind. I do really appreciate it sincerely. All right, man. I love this razor. <laughs> it, it just feels right. You know, lack of a better term. Unlike the, if you didn't see the video yesterday, check it out. The Helmsman. It's just one of those products for me that it just didn't feel right. And that's no knock on the, uh, folks who make it, but you know, go check out that video and sort of decide for yourself. And again, I always encourage you take all these videos as just information, you know, not, it's not the authoritative, no one is the authoritative source. Some people's opinion probably have more weight than others, you know, uh, based on their experience, knowledge, and how much effort they put in. Um, however, I think it's really important to to go watch and consume lots of different content on anything that you're going to get, be it electronics, shaving equipment, cars, whatever the case. You know, look at the reviews and do your due diligence. Uh, make sure you're spending wisely because once you've spent it, you know, you can't get it back. And so just keep that in mind. Trust me, I wish I had back a lot of the money that I wasted just blowing through products, some of which were good, some not so good. And ultimately, the premium software for me was just an absolute waste. It's disgusting, quite frankly. But anyway, uh, razors like this, I don't think is a waste. I think you spend a little bit more. You get a little bit more, at least in durability and craftsmanship and so on and so forth. I don't think that holds true for software. That's just, that's just the way I see it. And a lot of people do not like my content strictly because I say that, but you know, it is what it is. 
But for those of you who do enjoy it, and, and even those of you who don't enjoy it but come by to get aggravated, thanks for watching and uh, subscribe. And if you don't like the content, you can you can subscribe just so it'll pop up. Hey, he's got a, or it won't pop up. You can hit the bell if you want to be notified um, of a new video. But uh, you can be aggravated. So subscribe so you can be <laughs> aggravated. Either way, hit that subscribe button and comment if you want to be in the giveaway. Because that is the only way I'm not... Uh, a lot of times I just do it and say, email me. This time I'm just going to do it strictly on YouTube because some folks don't want to take the time to uh, email and so on and so forth. And they'd rather just make a comment. And generally I don't look at those comments, but I will on this uh, video to uh, determine who the winner is. And so make sure you're subscribed and... Uh, come back and hopefully spend more time at the channel. It does help me. And so I appreciate it. All right, so, gotta tell you, this razor, uh, third shave, again, it's it's early, but it's really a, a great smooth shaver for me. Um, terrific knurling, and I know this is, I've said this like six or eight times, um, but man, best knurling I've ever seen on a razor, really grippy, but without being uncomfortable. So just tremendous in my estimation. So let me go ahead here, rinse everything off. We'll come back and uh, do our post. So stick with me, I'll be right back. And all right, we are back with the magic made by witches. Actually, I'm not gonna use this. And the reason why is I ran out of cucumber yesterday, and this is the only one I have uh, medicated and it has a really strong scent so I'm not going to use this one but normally it would be magic made by witches there's great stuff but I'm not going to use this one this one is special purpose for like a cut or something like that too heavy a scent for me to use ordinarily I would uh, use it I have to replenish my cucumber uh, thayers we are going to roll in however the lucky tiger um, which is good it's got a nice pleasant uh, scent, but it doesn't hang around, so you don't have to worry about it. Lucky Tiger, it's good stuff also. So we'll splash it on. And it's got just a sort of a light, uh, in my view, sort of a light citrusy type uh, scent to it, which does not hang around. So it's not going to clash with your uh, aftershave, so do not worry about that. I do like this, though. When I'm not using Thayer's, and I use Thayer's the vast majority of the time. I throw on some uh, Lucky Tiger. Um, I think it's really good stuff. This particular one. Uh, before we get to the aftershave, let's again go over the giveaway. The Vikings Blade Adjustable Razor, which you see here, up for giveaway, courtesy of the inspector, along with the aftershave, which I do not like the smell at all, just to be honest with you, but giving it away all the same. Hopefully you'll like it. I think some people do. Maybe many people. I don't know. And the timeless handle, which is a beautiful long handle. If you're somebody who likes a long handle, this is a very, very nice stainless steel handle. And again, the way you enter, subscribe and make a comment uh, below. And so we will Roll with that. So the aftershave to finish things off, to finish our last video before Christmas, is of course, Tob's Sandalwood, which is great. I think one of the best, sorry about that, I just knocked my brush in the sink. Um, I think one of the better sandalwood scents out there. Not earthy, more of a cologne type, lack of a better way of describing it, aftershave. Really nice in my estimation. Most people like it, but not everyone. Some people don't like it at all. But I think on the balance, folks generally like it. it smells fantastic. Uh, if you like Top Sandalwood cream, uh, shaving cream, do yourself the favor. Go ahead and pay a little more and get this. It's the only thing that smells like it. And so, you know, make sure you're using the aftershave and you'll get the full Top Sandalwood experience. Tobbs is one of the first things I ever used uh, sandalwood. I used it either first or second. Um, really good stuff. I like it. I want to thank everybody for joining 
me once again. Thanks for all the support over the years. Thanks to those of you who have helped uh, me personally. I do appreciate it. I have not forgotten it. And I want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Festivus, Kwanzaa, whatever it is you celebrate. If you're celebrating something this time of year, I wish you uh, safety, security, goodwill, all of that. And thanks for joining me. Until next time, I've been your host, CDV. You are not. God bless.